Finally, iOS 16 has been released officially and I am pretty sure that there are many users who have already installed iOS 16 on their devices and enjoying the new features. But there are few people who are still facing issues or errors while installing iOS 16 in their devices. And the very common issue or error is that one they are getting is there is an error please try later while agreeing to terms and conditions while installing the iOS 16. So whenever we try to download and install the update, the next screen we get is agree to the terms and condition. And while agreeing, we get an error saying that there is a screen saying that there is an error, please try later. So now in this video, we will see why it happens and how to fix this. Before we talk about solution, the reason behind this might be because of two things. One is your server and second is your network. So now talking about server, because there are many people who are trying to update or install iOS 16 at the same time like you. So the server might not be that responsive towards your device because of large number of requests they are getting. And second one is your network issue. Your network might be weak or not that strong. Okay, So there is a network issue or you can say issue connecting to the Apple server. So now how to fix this? Okay. There are few methods you can try and it has actually worked for me so you can also try them. So let's start one by one. Just remember this whenever there is an issue with your iPhone, reboot sometimes helps. Okay, almost every time reboot helps. So here also just do one thing, just go ahead and reboot your iPhone. Okay, so rebooting might fix the issue. So you can say that before trying anything, just reboot your device and try to redo the thing. Mostly rebooting always helps. So try that first, then the other things. So first of all, make sure that it is regarding the server, right? So first step, we will talk about your VPN network. If you have any VPN installed in your iPhone, just disable them or just remove from your iPhone. So for that, what you do? Go to your settings, open settings. In settings, go to general. In general, scroll down, you will find VPN and device management. Open that option. And here, if you install VPN or if you have any VPN profile, you will see here, okay, just disable it or remove from your iPhone. So it will fix the issue. I won't say that, but it might help you in fixing the issue. Okay, just remove that. Okay, now just go back to your software update and just try to update the software or see if the issue is fixed. If not, then the next step. As I said, it is regarding server or network. So here comes a network issue that is your aeroplane mode. So what you do in the settings only, you will see a airplane mode option, right? Just enable that. Okay. Wait for few seconds and again disable that. So what will do? It will just quickly reset your networks in your iPhone. Okay. Which you can give a boost to your network and might fix the issue. Okay. So last time, there is a different error for my iPhone update and aeroplane mode helped me in that. So it might also fix in this issue as well. Okay. So you can try that as well. Now the next step or the next method, you can say it will have been the first option, but here we'll say that make sure that you have a very good strong network. If you are using a Wi-Fi, make sure that it is a very good network with a strong speed also good speed. Or else, if you're using a hotspot, make sure that your hotspot is placed in a strong network area. So there's a no error with your iPhones while connecting to the Apple server for the update. So make sure that you have very good strong network in your iPhone. So these are all basic things. Now we'll talk about some advanced things. So first of all, we'll try to reset network settings here. So for that, do one thing, go to a settings. In settings, scroll down, open general. And in general, scroll down to the last, you'll see an option called transfer or reset iPhone. Open that. Once you open that, you'll see option called reset. Just tap on that. And here there are multiple options. One of them will be your reset network settings. Just tap on that. When we try resetting the network settings in iPhone, so basically it will disable or it will remove all the customized or modified settings about network and get back to you default network settings in your iPhone. So basically, so whichever network is weak or everything is removed from the iPhone, then after that you can do one thing, you can reconnect the Wi-Fi network and try again. 
that time it might fix the error and issue for you and try again that is one you can try the next one still the issue occurs or still the issue is there then you can try reset all settings same method go to settings go to general okay scroll down transfer or reset iphone in that click on reset and here you will see a option called reset all settings just tap on that enter the passcode and go ahead so basically it will reset entire iphone settings and give you default settings in your iphone so from here you can try again so whichever issue or whichever settings blocking or creating an issue or error it might get resolved and you can try again with a proper network settings or network connectivity so it might fix the issue and the last one you can try is your force reboot your iphone so it's very easy actually the link will be description you can check out the video about force rebooting iphone but in short you can try press the volume up button leave it press the volume down button leave it and then press and hold power button until the apple logo comes up okay that time it will automatically reboot your iphone okay which is called as a force rebooting your iphone so it will just reset your iphone okay with a proper cleaning so i hope this will work for you it will help you because all these methods which i or showed you these methods i have been trying for years now and one of them always helps me so all are summarized in one video and i hope any one of them will surely help you out so i hope it will help you and if you like this video please give a like please subscribe for more videos on iphone tips and tricks iphone solutions and iphone customization until then thank you very much see you in the next video